Hey, what's going on everybody and welcome back to another Fallout 4 mod review. I've got a nice little backlog of mods that have come out in the past couple of days, so we've got a lot to look at. Today we're checking out a brand new lore-friendly weapon mod by Mikolov, and that is known as the h, h Tools Industrial Railway Rifle Spike Driver. Again, by Mikolov. That is a mouthful. But essentially what you're going to be getting when you download this mod is a brand new industrial version of the Railway Rifle. It performs very similarly to how the Vanilla Railway Rifle does in-game, but it adds a new aesthetic to it, which is pretty cool. I really like the design of this thing. Now, it's easy to say that this is a lore-friendly weapon. You can tell by the design that this looks like it's something manufactured by h, h Tools. The colors all work. It has that Fallout industrial look. But the problem is, is that the Vanilla Railway Rifle was already a super cool lore-friendly design. They just offer two different approaches to the aesthetic of the weapon. The Vanilla Railway Rifle looking like it's post-war and made of a bunch of scrap and junk, whereas this version of the Industrial Railway Rifle appears to have more of a pre-war tool look that has been modified by raiders and settlers. And before we get any further, let's just note that this is a new weapon by Mikolov that isn't from the Institute. I've been saying for a while, I can't wait to see what Mikolov moves on to after the Institute weapons. I want to see how his skills apply to other types of weapons. And now that we have an example of that, I am very, very pleased. And this has me excited for future weapon mods coming out in the next year. The design of this weapon is absolutely incredible. It looks so lore friendly. It fits in with the game and you couldn't believe this, but it's made out of like entirely vanilla assets. This mod comes in at only two megabytes. Yeah, two megabytes. There's no reason not to install this wonderful weapon. It takes up no space in your load order, especially if you're on Xbox. This adds a cool, new, unique weapon that's just a whole lot of fun. Now then, let's talk about some of the finer points when it comes to this mod. First of all, it does use vanilla animations, specifically animations from the vanilla assault rifle. Now, additionally, it's important to note, and we'll talk about this a little bit more in the animation section of the video, this mod does have additional attachments on it to make it compatible with any of the reanimation mods for the assault rifle, so that's a very nice touch. Of course, this weapon does come with attachments over at the weapons workbench, and there is a pretty good variety of options there. Different attachments for all the slots you would imagine, and a good bit of optics as well. If you want to get your hands on this weapon, sadly, there is no leveled list version. There are actually two versions of the mod you can download, one of which is a replacer for the railway rifle. So if you're somebody who doesn't like the vanilla railway rifle, you can replace it with this one. Alternatively, you can download the standalone version. Now, the standalone version does not have leveled list integration. Instead, you'll just craft it over at the chemistry station. I am sad not to be able to see this thing spawning out in the world, but to be fair, I'm not sure who it would spawn on anyways. There's not really a faction dedicated to this type of weapon. I wouldn't see it as a really common weapon amongst raiders, maybe as one that spawns very, very rarely on raider bosses, or maybe the Rust Devils, I don't know. For now though, I suppose a craftable version works just fine, especially considering this is supposed to be a pre-war weapon that has been slightly modified. I guess it makes quite a bit of sense that you could make this thing yourself. Alright, I think that's most of the basic stuff. Let's go ahead and take this thing in-game, check out its animations, its stats, and all of its other fun little goodies. Let us go ahead and begin with the stats for this weapon. When you first pick this thing up with no attachments and no perks, this thing has a base damage of 100, which does seem like quite a lot. However, railway spikes are pretty hard to find, and also this thing has a very low fire rate of only 10. And this thing is semi-automatic, so you're going to have to wait a while before you can pull the trigger each time. Again, this does use railway spikes as its ammunition, has a range of 119, an accuracy of 72, a weight of 15.5 pounds, and a value of 152 two caps. Now, in my opinion, this is a pretty balanced weapon, especially if you're using the replacer version where you're only going to get, I think, two of these exist in the entire game. So having these be pretty rare and the value pretty low, I think it's very balanced. Now then, let's talk animations for this thing. Like I said, it does use vanilla assault rifle animations, but I want to show it off with the custom animation mod by Mr. Lame Gaming that adds new animations to the vanilla assault rifle as they are completely compatible with this weapon. It comes with all the extra handles and charging handles that make it work perfectly. So let's go ahead and show that off. Of course, you do have a wonderful custom unequipping and equipping animations with that mod, and this mod is completely compatible with them. There's even an extra one whenever you equip it for the first time, I believe. There we go, as you can see, it uses that handle there. And then of course, the reload animation.
only the smallest issue the magazine is a bit large so your hand clips a little bit but it's not that noticeable honestly i think it works perfectly fine and as you saw the fire rate on this thing is extremely slow making this thing pretty balanced with that very high damage now that being said there are some attachments over at the weapons workbench that will allow you to modify some of the stats so let's go ahead and check that out now starting off with the receiver section we only have two options we have the standard receiver and then a rapid hydraulic receiver which is going to improve that rate of fire while reducing the range a little bit now you'll notice that the rate of fire only goes from 10 to 12 and to be honest the rate of fire increase isn't super noticeable it's definitely there it is faster but one thing it does do is it unlocks this thing to be automatic when you hold down the trigger, it will fire without you needing to click again. It's just that that fire rate is pretty slow. We also have options for the barrel. We have the short barrel and the long barrel. Pretty much exactly what you would expect. For the stocks, we have the standard stock and a recoil compensating stock, which will add a nice little pad there for you. We have a couple of sight options. We have the standard iron sights, which are all the way at the bottom. A short scope, a short recon scope, a short night vision scope a reflex sight which actually uses the gauss rifle reflex sight which i think is pretty fitting we've got a medium scope a medium night vision scope a long scope a long recon scope and a long night vision scope and as you can see these have some really cool custom scopes combining the railway rifle assets with some cool industrial ones that i think is a nice mix of parts and then finally we have the muzzle section where we have the standard no muzzle option and a large bayonet ripped straight off of the railway rifle but i think it fits pretty well on this weapon the profile here is really really cool all right now then let's go ahead and do a damage test on this thing to see how it actually performs in combat we'll be running three tests today one with the standard version of the weapon no attachments and no perks one with a fully upgraded version of the weapon which does not have any damage increases but it does have that slight rate of fire increase so i want to see if that actually makes a difference in time to kill and then finally we'll do a version with the fully upgraded version and maxed out rifleman perks to see what the damage looks like in the late game all right, with that, let's go ahead and start off with the basic version of this weapon. Aiming for the Death Cloud's weak point, let's see how it does. And the Death Claw goes down in only five shots. That's actually really, really decent. If you're able to hit your shots with this thing, it's going to perform pretty well. Let's go ahead and see how it does fully upgraded. And to be expected, it does the exact same damage as the last one since there were no damage upgrades, but it does have a faster rate of fire resulting in a faster time to kill, so that is nice. Now then, let's see how we do fully upgraded. By which I of course mean let's get this thing maxed out on its perks. Now that it has maxed out perks, let's see how it does. And that death claw goes down in only two shots. You will be fighting much harder enemies in the late game, but this definitely proves to be a pretty viable weapon, especially since the ammo consumption is really, really low. If you're packing enough railway spikes, you can take down just about anything. One more thing we do need to check out before we go is the construction cost for this thing if you decide to download the standalone version. If we head over to the chemistry station and open it up, we will see that this thing costs you 7 adhesive, 10 aluminum, 8 fiberglass, 4 oil, 6 screws, and it is going to require 2 ranks of gun nut and 2 ranks of the science perk. So, really not that intensive in terms of cost, but it is still an option there. Hopefully we will see a patch at some point that maybe somebody will add this to the level list, but again, I have no idea what you'd add it to, so we'll just have to wait and see what somebody decides to do. With that, let's go ahead and round things out with the last little bits of information. One thing about this mod is that it does require one DLC, and that is the Automatron DLC, as a lot of the greebles and fun stuff on this weapon do come from Automatron parts, so keep that in mind when you download this. Additionally, it's available for not only PC, but Xbox as well. So Xbox users, I'd highly recommend picking this one up. It's going to have almost no effect on your load order space, and it's a really cool new weapon. With that... I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I hope you want to download this mod. If you do, it'll be linked down in the description below along with this Xbox link. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to drop a rating. It really helps out the channel. Consider subscribing if you haven't already for more videos just like this. Big shout out to all of my patrons for supporting every single video. And of course, a very special thank you to Avian4, Captain Chaos, Glasma, Helljumper, Indecisive Wolf, Cushy, Logan Rigmaiden, Microhan, Moonlit Gamer, Feed, Scott, Steven, Timmy76, Youth RCU, and Voider for joining that Tier 3 Patreon membership. If you'd like to support the channel on Patreon, you can do so using the link down in the description, but it is completely optional. Thanks again for watching, guys, and I hope to see you all in the next one. Peace.